And uh, I have this application and both of the ways deployed on OpenShift. I would like to show you. So this is my OpenShift instance. And uh, the first project I'm showing you is the photo gallery monolith project where the monolithic deployment was made. So you are seeing here that there is a one service called monolith and a single physical database called Postgres. And uh, indeed, the monolith is running all three modules inside. However, if you want, you can scale the monolith, and hence you can, uh, you can scale the application and meet the additional load on the application. If you look at the routes, because we are having one monolithic service, there is just one route um, where the API on that route contains all three APIs of all three modules. In contrast, the photo gallery distributed project um, shows the microservices or distributed deployment of the photo gallery. And here we are having three services running individually. So we have a live service, photo service, and a query service. And uh, you can scale them independently. So if there is people are clicking on the likes button a lot and there is a lot of load coming into that service, we can scale it out. And uh, I also have a dedicated or a separate physical database for each of the service to write data. Regarding the routes, each service has its own route. I will come back to the presentation. And uh, if you are interested, you can find the source code uh, on the on the GitHub, and you can check the two ways of deployment yourself. And with that, I'm handing back to Eric. Thank you, Olesh. Well, let's conclude our presentation. So what are some takeaways uh, from our presentation today? Well, uh, you may have learned that you can actually have basically the same source code for both a monolithic or a microservice application, as Olesh demonstrated. Um, you should also consider implementing the four plus one or five flavors of modularity to convert a monolithic application to a microservice much more easily. Additionally, event-driven applications are actually much easier to modularize, and you should consider leveraging an event or message bus to communicate between services by passing events. Also, you should really consider starting with a modular monolith and break it apart later. Given the complexities of microservice applications, there is nothing wrong with a modular monolith. To find out more, you might consider following me and Alesh on Twitter. You can find me at Murphy E. You can find Alesh at Alesh, Alesh Nozick TSP. You can follow Alesh's blog at aleshnozick.com. And for any customer inquiries, you can reach out to me at ermurphy at redhat.com. Thank you for listening today.